Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. Um, here in this channel, I talk about all things luxury and uh, related, uh, where we uh, enjoy and appreciate beautiful items. Uh, if this is something that appeals to you, please uh, click on the subscribe uh, button and the notification bell button to be notified whenever I post a new video. Uh, now today I want to um, do a traditional what's in my bag video. Um, so this is my Marc Jacobs the tote bag and if you watch my previous uh, video um, when I unbossed this bag uh, you would know that I purchased this bag specifically for the purpose of uh, using it uh, on rainy days when I don't want to take out my other more luxurious and um, expensive uh, handbag but also for a very practical reasons that currently uh, except my um, Hermes um, picotine all my bags um, would not be able to fit an umbrella which is um, an essential item when it rains um, and I am definitely not taking out my uh, picotine during rainy day um, so that's why I need a bag that can fit this um, umbrella uh, in the handbag and this tote bag is big enough now um, this is my echo shopping bag um, and a packet of tissue it's really quite bottomless uh, this bag um, my mints a hand sanitizer um, this is uh, something I got from Sephora because of the thin size of the container very useful to put into a handbag uh, my uh, Louis Vuitton um, card holder wallet. Um, very, I find it um, quite uh, useful. Um, I quite like um, the structure of this uh, card holder. Like it gives me the opportunity to put, you know, four cards at least. Um, on the back and also a zipped compartment for me to put um, notes coins and um, other bits and bobs now this is my uh, key holder I like how it just keeps my keys tidy and I can easily um, maneuver the right key out with just one hand I've got my key fobs um, attached to the end of that key ring holder as well. I've got my um, lip balm that's got SPF um, from Elizabeth Arden. Um, I purchased uh, a few of these uh, quite a while back. And um, here's my Hermes um, lipstick that I have put a um, shorts video on. It's the perfect um, pink with a tinge of blue. Um, that is perfect for my cool undertone, sorry, my cool undertone skin. Um, now, what other things have I got in here? I've got a Chanel um, perfume, travel size, the Coco Mademoiselle, one of my favorites. I've been getting this uh, sample from my Chanel online purchases. Um, I've got a shout wipes, uh, very useful um, when you get uh, food stains on your um, tops. If you give it a wipe, it quickly makes the stain go away. I've got a silk hair tie. Um, what else do I have in here? Oh, yeah. A Chinese red pocket. 
Um, they say it brings good luck um, to keep a red pocket um, inside a handbag. Um, so it's something that my mum taught me to do and I have just followed on the tradition. Plus it's handy when I'm suddenly kind of needing cash um, because I do have a $5 notes in these um, red pockets. And so this is the bag insert that I purchased from Etsy to put into Mark Jacob bag. And um, that's all I have in my rainy day bag. So as you can see, quite a lot that I can fit in. I can even fit more in, but um, these are basically the essentials that I would need on the rainy days. Now the second half of the video, I will actually be doing some leather care. You can see here, I've got actually sunscreen stains. Um, on the handles um, yep I do wear sunscreen even though um, it may rain because the UV levels in Australia is just almost constantly high the bottom of the handbag having just some um, again just from the you know putting my the handbag down I don't baby this bag um, so the bottom is uh, yeah it needs a bit of a clean um, now I've already shown this uh, leather care kit that I purchased from Amazon um, from a different a much earlier video that I did of my Chanel um, classic flap wallet that I have purchased um, quite a while back as a uh, gift to myself and back then I actually got it at a, uh, a big discount because of a, a work colleague's um, relative actually works at Chanel in Hong Kong and he was very generous to uh, offer me a discount an employee's discount um, so yeah so that's that's how I got my first uh, Chanel uh, wallet, classic wallet, uh, a long, long time ago, um, maybe 15 years ago. Um, I wouldn't, to be honest, if I didn't get the employee discount, I would never ever have to purchase that uh, wallet because the price point for me at that point in time, I, you know, when I'm not that into luxury, um, you know it was just not not really quite worth it um in my eyes at that moment in time obviously now looking back i kind of like felt like man i should have actually bought a classic um flap handbag then but you know it is what it is you know i did get quite a good enjoyment out of um my first chanel wallet for a very long time quite many years i've used that wallet almost i would say almost five or six years before i kind of changed to a chanel boy wallet um i continued you know using a, a chanel wallet because i was so impressed and happy uh with my classic flap uh sorry my classic uh wallet but anyway, so I'm just first uh, using the microfiber cloth that comes with the leather care kit um, to use the first bottle, which is a cleaner, um, to basically um, gently remove the stains um, and, you know, makeup or oil um, over the leather, um, just giving a nice clean. Um, Better not to use too much product because you don't want to be soaking the leather with um, with a cleaner. Um, but you know, just apply just enough um, to give the cloth um, a moist, a very moist feeling, um, and just work your way throughout the the bag. And you can always squirt more product in when you feel the cloth is just not having enough uh, of the cleaning agent, which is what I am doing now. Um, yeah, look, 
I have not tried any other cleaning kit, but um, you know this one seems to be working fine. So I'm just continuing doing, you know, using up this uh, leather kit. You know, do you have any other suggestions? You know, for luxury bag um, leather care at home? If you do, um, please leave me a comment um, down below. Um, I would love to hear what uh, cleaning and leather care products you guys all use for your prized uh, possessions. So yeah, giving more attention to this area where I've identified really obvious um, sunscreen stains and other makeup stains. Um, and as you can see, they have come off quite nicely. Um, so yeah. And then after applying the cleaning um, agent, the next step is to apply the oil. And again, it's basically the same principle. Use small amounts first and just you know use the microfiber cloth. I use a different cloth and just kind of rub it um, very gently. You know, it's, um, I guess, Swipe it very gently um, into uh, onto the leather to give it the shine back. Um, and it does say that you sh before you use the bag again, just allow some time for all the products to soak in and dry up. Um, so I tend to leave it at least overnight before I put anything back in again. So this is it from me today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. 
um, if you've liked the video please give it a thumbs up it means a lot to me and helps with the youtube algorithm and if this is the type of content that you enjoy watching but you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing it doesn't cost you anything but it really helps to build up my channel so that i can bring you more beautiful content um, until i see you all please take care of yourselves and bye